Hello comrades, Kamisa Bro here today with the sixth episode of the Saga of Countess Morag of Moray. That's right. Now last time we were defeated by a coalition of various baron or like barons and and counts who decided that Morag of Moray was too powerful and her epicness should not be allowed to spread. This is a travesty, frankly. <laughs> I mean, personally, I know myself, I'm, I'm very disappointed. I was expecting quite an easy victory against Catans to unite Scotland under the banner of Countess Morag of Moray. But unfortunately, that did not happen. And now it seems our dear Countess is getting older. And frankly, eh, we, we, we kind of need, we need, you know, we need, we, we need things to happen. Oh, good, we got Gregarious. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, we could pay for some medication. Yes, let's do that. We need all the prestige we can get. Now, we do need money, but we mostly need some prestige that we may declare war on someone again. Um, and frankly, I don't really know what we're going to do because this isn't a good situation, guys. We're not married. So, yeah, I mean, we're not married. Our army is pretty devastated. I mean, it is rebuilding bit by bit, but unfortunately... Our vassals are not really giving us what we need for a full-on assault of enemy forces. That's right. And we don't want to make their loyalty any lower. But, jeez, we really need to get this under control, don't we? Thankfully, we do have a son. So if Morag happens to die, don't worry. The line of secession is indeed secure. That's right. And it looks like Katanz has built up its forces again. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. That really, really sucks. So, frankly, I don't really know what we're going to do. Great news. We've saved Sidon to the Great White Stag. All right, let's try to kill it again. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do because no one likes us. We're a female. Uh, yeah, honesty couldn't hurt. Honesty can hurt. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't really mind losing that one all that much. Why would I care about some pet such crimes? Will not go unpunished. Sweet. Diligent. All right. We are just getting her where she needs to be. She's gregarious. She's diligent. She's a great leader. Like, I mean, the stats are... Her martial and stewardship ability are much better. Her intrigue, learning, and diplomacy are roughly... They're not bad. They're, they're pretty high, all things considered. And our forces are actually pretty good. So, we've got a decent-sized army, but we don't have enough men and money to fight off other people. Let's see. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small college in the woods. As you knock, a handsome young man opens. He pauses then gives you a warm inviting look. It's very lonely out here. I wonder if you'll stay the night. Mm, yeah, I think we'll stay the night. Yeah, get that general opinion up. Ooh, next morning, you wake with a warm body next to you. You spend a long, pleasant night in the cabin, but it's time to get back to the world outside. Your companion looks you in the eye, caresses you, and asks you to stay a little bit longer. Why don't you come back to court with me? Yeah, good. Now we have someone, ooh, with good stats. That's exactly who we want to get married to. All right, and he's young. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to get married to him. Matrilineal, that's right. Alright, so now we actually have a good counterpart to assist us in the world. Is trying to assert my title as Chancellor Bishop. We could make him disappear. Or we could try to bribe him. Absolutely not. No, make him disappear. The assassins, yes, yes. Fuck you. Mwahaha! <laughs> Yes, yes. Moraga Moray is no innocent bonnie lass. No, she is a brutal, ruthless tyrant. Not really. She's actually a pretty nice gal, if you get to know her, if you take your time and whatnot. And look, our stats have gotten much better. Our state stats are just phenomenal, all things considered. And we have a kid. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And we're gaining plus 10 prestige. It's going to take us a while to get our prestige back up to where we need it to be, so... I might skip ahead a few years, but eh, not much is probably going to happen anyway. Oh no, the Countess is ill. I gotta, now I gotta record because if I don't, she may die and that would just be an absolutely terrible thing to happen. Let's let her be, uh, let's educate our child with our husband. Can he not, what was his name again? I forgot. Is this guy, yes, here he is. Angus, court chaplain of Murray. Yeah, there we go. 
He'll train our daughter to be a total badass. Donada Cambrodian. That's right. I love that name, Cambrodian. That just fits. I woke up this morning and I'm no longer ill. Sweet. All right, so we survived the most dastardly illness, thankfully. And, uh, hmm. My modest attempt. Okay, so we were a poet now. Oh, and we had a son. Oh my god, so much stuff is happening. Oh no, we became pneumonia. Oh no, god no. Pray to Jesus! Pray to Jesus, Morag! You cannot die. You are too young. You beautiful, beautiful woman, you. Who's gonna take over Scotland one step at a time? Maybe. Probably not. It's not looking very likely. But I do think that I might have to kick in a war or something. Get something to happen because we need results. And uh, she's getting old. She's 30 years old. In the medieval ages, that's like... You're like 60 at this point in time. 30, 30 too, too old. Das Volt! Yes, okay. So we do have more money. Um, we don't really have enough if we wanted to get mercenaries. Okay, lots of stuff is happening. Fruitlessly scouring, you come upon a small kind of you knock an old crone up and put you blah, 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 blah. Uh, sure to catch any prey. We could say, no, let's go home. This is fruitless or sell it to me. Uh, yeah, let's go home. I need, I need my gold. Yes, yes. Maybe next time you'll catch your prey. Maybe. The cough disappeared. Thank the Lord. Okay, good. We're not pneumonia anymore. Oh my god, so much stuff is happening. This is why I play on time five speed. Anyway, how much do mercenaries cost? Okay, mercenaries are not cheap. That's right. The cheapest ones we can find would be about 150 for about 2,000 uh, soldiers who would be able to fight. If we went with, went to war with someone, unfortunately, we're probably going to be dragging in at least one or two other opponents in the meantime. So that's something we really got to keep our eyes out for. The assassins spread to Syria. Let them. The Hishashin. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, to a lot of people who um, weren't or didn't know, I, I do know what the Hishashin know, and I, I do know that they were a real thing. I'm, I'm aware. Thank you. <laughs> Just FYI, I'm, I am well aware of them existing and being a thing, an actual thing. So, we could try going to war with Argyll uh, if we take them over, and they are, their military is pretty weak, all things considered. They don't have many men. Uh, so, if we do go to war with Argyll, there's a good chance we could win those engagements. So... I'm really thinking about it. Really thinking about it. Mm, yeah, that's right. But we need allies. We have no allies. Uh, or at least people who don't hate our guts. So we could send a gift to Earl Henry of Atoll. He probably wouldn't attack us. Bo the Earl of Buchan hates us. Let's actually try to fabricate a claim on Argyll. Because if we could take Argyll over, that would probably be a good place to start. Since Catan's is more fortified than it was before. Not to mention, it's, you know, it obviously has allies. But this guy, he's young. He probably doesn't have allies yet. All right. Well, there's no use in waiting around for things to happen. We might as well make them happen. This could go well. This could go bad. But, hey, let's give it a shot and see what happens. We have enough to hire one group of mercenaries. Um, oh, that's right. i got to declare war before I do that. Uh, yeah, we have one group of mercenaries, so this may go well, this may not go well, but I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the best. They have 910 men, and they ran. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, Morag is leading her armies because she's a total badass. That's right. And she's going to try to take over Argyll. Hopefully, no one comes to assist the dear Lord of Argyll. It does look like he is alone in this fight. Thank God. So that means we might actually have a pretty good chance of taking over his kingdom. Alright, so we're losing 3.3. He's losing. Okay, so we'll have just enough time to conquer this province. And like I said, hopefully, no one gets drawn into this war. God, I really, really hope no one gets drawn into this war. I want to win it. I want to win it. I really want to win it. But it's going to take us a while to actually siege this castle and bring it down to where we need it to be. So, oh my god, I'm pregnant again. Jesus! Stop getting pregnant! You are a warrior, woman! <laughs> actually, you know what? This is how badass Countess Mirag is. Oh god, when the hot cottery touched the open, I couldn't hold the screen back. I cursed the doctor. Great, she's wounded. Just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, so... Basically, Countess Morag of Moray is so badass that even though she's wounded and pregnant, she is leading the siege of Dunstaff Naga. 
Your husband, Earl Angus, has sent you a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. Oh, dear husband. Thank you. Uh, faithful hunter tricky. Let's say faithful. He's going to be faithful. The puppy, faithful the dog. So now Countess Morag the hunter is followed by her dog, um, faithful. That's right. That's right. She's a, she's a total B.A. I'm telling you, man. Morag of Moray. No one messes with Morag of Moray and gets away with it. Especially this, this upstart, agile, child, kid person who's trying to toot their horn and act like there's something. Absolutely not. You are not. Let us hope so. Come on. Almost. Almost. So close. So close. So close. Your dog's growing quickly. Great. Boom. Okay, so we took it. Now let's go back and take out the enemy force that's besieging Murray. Look at that. Boom. Just ruined his chances at besieging our settlement. And nope, I'm not leaving. Ha 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 ha. You thought I was though, didn't you? Alright, we're coming. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Come on, come on. Intercept. Intercept. Come on, intercept. <laughs> oh, damn, auto saves. I need to turn that auto save feature off. It's just saving too soon. All right, if we take out this main army, which we have done with flying colors. Oh, no. Oh, no. Goodness, no. The, uh, an army of a thole has risen. Oh, no. Not again. Not a fucking again. Oh, uh, but he's... Uh, wait, no, that's a raiding army. Is that a raid? Because he's not in the war here. Oh, that's not good. A tholian army. He probably has intentions to attack me. I don't know. I'm so scared. Yes, due to the... Damn it! Okay, so we need to attack now, then. We need to attack the army of Athol now while it's still organizing. Come on! Come on! Devastated! All right, so we took out another major army. However, Argyll still has its forces, and we still have a majority of troops, so we are winning in the overall scheme of things. We just have to take over... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no! Yes! Another devastating victory! Am I at war with multiple people? What the fuck? Why are... How are these people... Like, they're aggressive towards... They're hostile towards me, but they're not in the war. That makes no sense. Due to conflicting... Oh, because they're attacking Earl Henry of Athol. Um, they're trying to take over... Okay, okay, okay. I've got it. I've got it. So we just need to stay here, we just need to win this battle, uh, and we will win the war. So we just need to maintain our position, and hopefully nobody else will attack us. And I'm so terrified, because all it's going to take is one army just to come in, and we're screwed. But if we can take- oh god in heaven. Clydesdale- COME ON! WE'RE SO FUCKING CLOSE! There we go. Alright, 100%. Woo! Alright! Enforce demands! Yes! It is our title now! Fuck everyone else! And now we're at war with these guys. Jesus Christ. I can't- I can't catch a break, man. I can't catch a break. Dude, let's just- let's just white piece it, alright? And- cause if I- if I surrender, I'll lose the territory. We cannot afford to lose this territory. Do we have any new troops? Okay, so we're gonna retreat our army back to Moray. Yeah, we're just gonna full-on retreat to Moray. Alright. And we're going to put our army down and raise it back up. All right, there we go. So now we have a bigger army. And I think with that, this will be the end of this particular episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. I'm getting terrified because this could be bad. This could be good. Every I don't know. It could be a whole mess of things. But we have to be sure that we do it correctly. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm just so, so terrified that this is going to go badly. But, uh, we can hope for the best. We can hope that we can we can win the war overall. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, and I'll see all you beautiful people next time.